Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and today I want to talk about how to update a ARCHICAD file to localize it for your specific needs. So we're going to talk about switching between inches and feet to meters, and we're also going to talk about swapping out libraries uh, from one to the other. So the, the reason for this video mainly is I get a lot of emails and comments about, hey, we love your open template. Do you have one that is metric, or do you have one that uses the Australian library or the German library, etc.? And I'm not going to do that, um, mostly because those questions are, are about specific needs for individual users. And I'm not an expert in metric, and I'm not an expert in other libraries. So I want to put my efforts into creating the best template I can for my needs, which is primarily residential projects in the US. Um, but then make sure there's an open framework and it's easy for you to translate to your needs. Fortunately, the switch to what I like to call Metrify, the Shunome open template, and to switch the libraries is actually really simple. Um, and it's maybe an hour worth of your time, maybe two. And that's really exaggerating it just because you want to take some time to do it carefully. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First, um, let's close that. Let's zoom in here. Switching to meters is super easy. We're just going to go to dimensions and um, we're going to change the unit to meters. And obviously, you want to go to centimeters, millimeters. You want to fine tune all this to what you want. You're going to store it as. Um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you notice, I just typed in building scale. What you want to do is overwrite my existing building scale more work in detail site survey so that everything propagates and updates. So let's just assume that's right. We're going to hit overwrite, hit OK, and now we're, we're on meters. Obviously, there's some other things that it looks like the precision was off, so let's just up the precision so you can see that. Um, the typo there. So cancel. Let's delete that. Let's do that. Um, let's change the precision again. Now if store is building scale. Do it correct. We're gonna overwrite that. Okay. So there we go. That's the simple part, right? We've got um, the dimensions updated. The next thing you will need to do. It's actually the more important thing. Is go into the composites and change all these numbers to uh, meters. It looks like we have to go deeper into ARCHICAD and uh, change the, sorry, we change the dimensions. We need to change the working units. So here we're going to change to meters with four decimals. We're going to change the layout to whatever it is. Again, I don't even know what your, what decimal percentage uh, you'd like to see as someone who works in metrics. metric. Let's go to go to that, and now we're going to be in meters everywhere. So again, that was project preferences, dimensions to change the dimensions, working units to change the working units. I'm sure there's meter references elsewhere there, elsewhere in here that you want to change as well. But now, if we go to composites, you'll see everything is is set. So whatever brick is supposed to be, it's maybe 0.1 meters, whatever the airspace is supposed to be, 0 0.025. It's just a matter of, matter of going through here and changing these numbers. You know, my template is not very big, so it's not too hard to just go through and say, okay, chipboard is supposed to be that, 5 inch, inch chipboard is whatever it is. Like I said, I don't know what this is standard in other places in the world, so that's why I'm not doing it. But it's not going to be hard for you to go through and say, okay, that's 0.1, that's 0.1, etc. So that's how you do composites. You would have to do the same thing with complex profiles. Um, this you might want to do uh, either by stretching it to the right distance, um, scaling it to the right distance, or honestly just redrawing it. 
it's not a lot of work, there's not many things here. Um, I would actually suggest, since I have so few profiles, that you redraw them from scratch, just because um, then you know, say, whatever it's supposed to be, that those dimensions are perfect. Right? So that's, that's pretty straightforward. That's all graphic. Once you update all those things, once you update the composites, once you update the profiles, um, my sample building is going to resize itself and it's going to be good, um, especially because the reference line is at the edge of the uh, core for the walls, so this wall will grow appropriately. Um, of course, things like the toilet, the base cabinet, you're going to have to go through and you know update those, but you don't need to update that really, because this is just a sample and you can go forward from that. Um, other things here, it looks like, when you get to it, you'll have to dig down here and um, change the dimension marker for doors and go from inches to centimeters. Again, super easy to do. Nothing complex. So that's the basics of changing the model over to meters. It's if you understand what you're doing, this is just, you put on some podcasts, you get to work and do it. Um, for the sheets, we're just going to go into the settings of each one of the masters, update these to pretty meter numbers. Uh, I'm sure you can just pick the right size sheet and you're, you know, you're good to go. Um, for something like the title block, this just depends on how exact you like to be. Um, right now, it's set to a generic inch side. You could go in and scale everything and make it right, but honestly, probably doesn't matter. You could just leave it like this, and you know, you'll be fine. But you could go in there, open up this source view, scale this, and rearrange it to get it just, just perfect. That's actually all pretty easy. Where it gets trickier is updating the libraries. So I have a whole bunch of ARCHICADs open. Let's go to the next one. Here, if we go to libraries and objects, this right here is the international library. You can imagine it, it's whatever your local library is. And now here we can see all the objects that are missing from the replaced library. There's some missing um, surface images, and there's some objects that didn't switch out, which actually isn't too bad. It's just however many that is, I don't feel like counting. So, um, you could go through here and, you know, try and find the window you want. Um, I don't know if we hold down Option Command and click if it will show up right. No, it doesn't. So, we need a better solution. Um, before I show you the better solution, let me just point out some things. You know, the, um, the numbers are wrong. We're still, we're in inches here, but, um, you can imagine this would say meters right now. This base cabinet is from my US library, but it translates perfectly to the international. Okay, so this is just swapping out libraries, and it's you know kind of there, but not great. Next solution is um, to load oh one second. Um, to load both libraries. How we do that is this is my original US library. Here's the international library. ARCHICAD won't let you load two different libraries that both are called ARCHICAD Library 18, so you need to go in and change the name of one of them. My suggestion is you change the US library, which you've loaded from my website, to 18 USA and let your regular local library, international, UK, Australian, whatever, be the um, the properly named one. But so, anyways, what I've done here is I've loaded two libraries, which is a big no-no in the ARCHICAD world because we're going to see a bunch of errors. Um, it's angry at me. There's a lot of macros that are going to duplicate. There's 4,000 duplicate uh, objects, but that's okay because all we're trying to do here is take this live object, which now loads properly, scroll down to the international library, find the object we want to turn it into, say Window 18, hold down Option Command or um, 
whatever it is on the PC control alt maybe to get the parameter transfer and click. Now this is obviously still screwed up a bit. We're gonna have to go in and tweak it. Um, maybe in 19, which was just announced, um, the object will translate a little better. But most importantly, the um, the key things like the size and the basic look of it are all correct. So now you go in there and tweak it. So that's what you'd have to do. Um, you load both libraries, you go through, you find the door you want, and you replace it, and you hit OK. You know, there's some subtle differences, but you know, there it is. So you can go through and you can update all those. Um, but actually what you want to do is you want to update um, all the um, favorites. Let's actually, let's go back to this, which just has the international library loaded, not the US library loaded. Um, and you can see anything that is uh, with black text translated fine. So, you know, the cabinets came out okay, this 2D insulation fill came out okay, the empty window, my reform window came through, um, all the composites. And it's just the grayed out ones um, that didn't translate. Um, which means you would need to update those. So if we actually look, let's see if we can do this here. Um, oh, it's not going to come through. If we took a screenshot of this, we could see which ones didn't translate, and we could just go through and say, I think queen bed didn't translate. I don't know, queen did, bed did the dryer. Um, so we can select the dryer, come through and see that it's set up with my Archicad 18 library. We just have to go down to the um, international library or local library and just swap out the thing. It's one to one, you can do parameter transfer, you'll have to test some things, but again, not the hardest thing in the world. Um, let's see how else we can look at things. So we have my original library loaded, the new library loaded with missing ones, both libraries loaded. Anyways, I should say when you do this, you load both libraries, you get everything updated, then you remove the old library, my original library, and everything looks good. You hit save and you're done. Um, another thing you can do is load um, a PLA. So I saved my Shunem open template as a archive file, and now there are, um, it's reading all the objects from itself. Uh, and so instead of bringing in both libraries, you could do that, and then go to library manager, add your new library, so your local library, hit OK. We're going to get the error messages and everything again, um, but now Uh, you know, we're in the same scenario of updating the favorites based on the embedded objects and your new loaded library. You'll notice that there are a different amount of grayed out favorites because the, when you save a PLA, it doesn't save every object, it just saves the objects that are placed. Um, one last thing. If we remember, we go back to this file, which just has I, our um, new library loaded, and there's a lot of things missing from the attributes, like um, images. Now, the easiest way to get those, if you want them, you could just go through and replace them, but if you just want to dump them into your file, what you can do is when you open the Archicad file, the Archicad PLA, um, you can choose to extract the embedded library that's in the saved PLA. So when you do that, what you end up getting is this folder here with all the embedded objects. So what that means is you could you take my template, save it as a PLA, open the PLA, extract everything, 
and then what you end up with is all the um, JPEGs and, and uh, objects that are missing, or or that are or that are used in the template. So you could go and place. Um, let's go back to this original file for a second. Uh, this has my US library. Uh, sorry, there's so much to absorb here, but it's pretty straightforward. We could go ahead and place every favorite. Hit saves archive, open up the archive, extract the library, and then all those objects that are placed would be sitting here. And then you could embed the ones you want and replace the others, and you'd be good to go. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Um, in the comments, ask questions. We'll uh, work out all the details there. I know this is a long video and there's a lot to absorb. But to recap, um, you if you just swap out the library, you're going to get missing uh, library parts, which are hard to replace. You can load both. You can load two ARCHICAD libraries if you rename one of them. And then you can go one by one and swap out the objects, either placed objects or you know, update the favorite. And then once you've updated the favorite, um, you redefine the favorite. So we find a bad one, say range. We go into the library, we swap out from the old library to the new library, hit OK, and then go redefine. So you can do that. You can also get to that same route by instead of loading two libraries, saving the Shunome open template as an archive, extracting the objects, and then swapping them that way. Probably the easiest is loading the two libraries, doing a one-to-one, -one, and then remove the old library when you're good to go. So that's all for now. I hope that is clear and makes some sense. And again, ask questions. We'll tackle this together. But like I said, if you want to use my template, you want to switch to meters, it's you know, just swapping out the preferences here and then updating some composites. Um, you might want to rename some things, but that's not really switching from inches to meters. That's just you don't call concrete concrete, you call it something else. Um, okay, thank you very much, and have a great day.